So, uh, as of this past week, the WWE Performance Center turns 10 years old. The facility that was opened by Triple H over 10 years ago has produced some of the most notable WWE superstars on screen, such as Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Bianca Belair, Charlotte, uh, Becky Lynch, even down to former WWE superstar who is now known as Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks. I just want to know, what is your opinion on the impact of the WWE Performance Center? Um, well, I I love that they had a Performance Center just because, um, again, I'm, this is going to be this is going to be me sounding biased or whatnot, but um, growing up watching like the females wrestle and then hearing as an adult that they had to learn everything on the fly as they go along, while most people had to go through a wrestling school and then work their way to get there. I find it great now that it kind of gives everyone like a fair chance to be great, Mm -hmm. you know, offering a performance center to make everyone feel more secure going out there. I can never imagine what the hell it's like, bro, Mm. to just like for some people to be hand selected with no experience whatsoever. And then you're just kind of told to go wrestle in front of a bunch of people. I kind of love the fact that they have the performance center for that to help mold people. And it's pretty awesome, too, because like there's people who. I love watching or loved watching like Sasha Banks, for example. And to think that like she, her, her character was going to go off in a totally different direction until certain coaches that she worked with helped mold her boss character into what it is. I forgot what she had beforehand in her mind when she was choosing to like go about like her character for selection, but they're the ones that gave her the confidence to kind of go with the boss direction and kind of emulate a little bit of Snoop Dogg. And it's like this unique character that we would never have thought of before. Like, because it's kind of hard, bro. It's kind of hard to like be a wrestler when you think about it, especially in the WWE, because your goal is to choose something that's different, larger than life, and resonates with characters. And I think it's like a blessing for all the people that are in the performance center to have legends like guide them to kind of just like give them that confidence that they need for whatever idea that they have or to help just like mold it into like the right direction that it should have been going in. So it's great, and I think that they should have it. I think that most promotions should, most major promotions should have a performance center for that reason. Because I mean, it helps. Like who, who, who better to know? But if, if I was in the the uh, performance center, I'm definitely taking Triple H's advice. I'm definitely taking like Shawn Michaels' advice. Like who knows better than the, than the people who are putting asses in seats? You know what I'm saying? And putting on five star classics. So. I think it's a great thing. I hope that it continues. Um, It would make me very upset if they actually did get rid of it. Because, again, like we have the greatest of the greats right now for our era because of it. Um, So, yeah, that's what I think about it. What do you think about the Performance Center and its impact? Man, the Performance Center has not just elevated WWE. It saved professional wrestling. Even down to the just, just the venue, right? Just the venue. It was the primary place where Raw and SmackDown was recorded during the pandemic. That alone helped sustain WWE. Having their own facility in Florida was able to keep them afloat during a time that was uh, very, very tumultuous, to say the least. Now, as it pertains Mm -hmm. to just the success of the Performance Center, I think that one of the people that we need to credit is the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. The way that he mentored uh, and, and, and looked after so many girls and guys and, and help mold them into the people that they are, you can see Dusty's fingerprints and the fingerprints of the Performance Center on pretty much every WWE superstar that ends up going up to the main roster or any any or even just ends up going elsewhere. I think the Performance Center has had a, a significant impact because, and the reason why I say that it has saved wrestling is because the, the people that have gone through there, whether they're in WWE or not, still carry the lessons that they brought with them in that performance center elsewhere. Look at Adam Cole. Um, Even when you see Adam Cole on AEW, you can see that he carried a lot of the stuff that guys like Shawn Michaels and guys like Triple H taught him and Roderick Strong. Uh, Even guys like Jon Moxley, who is a free kind of spirited character, you can see that he took stuff from there and kind of brought it with him. And then obviously we have the guys who are the faces of, of WWE at this point in time, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, right? Seth Rollins was someone who was very, very big on the independent scene as Tyler Black. 
they he went through the performance center he learned the wwe way and he's arguably bigger than he's ever been and roman reigns we don't we don't really have to say much about roman reigns uh the like the fact that the performance center has molded the next generation of wrestlers and are continuing to mold the next generation of wrestlers um not just the next generation of wrestlers but even at this point got women and and men who are first ballot hall of famers at this point in their career roman reigns is a first ballot Hall, hall of famer so is seth rollins so is john moxley in my opinion so is bray wyatt charlotte becky sasha bailey bianca they've all been through the performance center oscar performance center these people are all first ballot hall of famers and we're not even talking about the girls and the guys that are coming through nxt now who have an enormous potential so I just think that the, the 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 WWE Performance Center has not just say not just elevated WWE, but it has saved professional wrestling as a whole. Because I forgot about that the whole the, pandemic, man. Yeah, the whole pandemic thing. And and think about this: there's people who left WWE who carry that WWE polish with them, and because of that polish and because of that presentation, like they were able to succeed in other companies. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I think that that's a very very big big thing, and that's just like my opinion on the impact of the WWE Performance Center. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> did you have anything else to say, bro? Nah, I did not. You you kind of like stole everything else out of my brain. Yes, I you know me do that. <laughs> but, they, but uh, but yeah, let us know how you guys feel about the WWE Performance Center turning ten years old. What are some of the things that 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 the performance center has given us as fans? But we're gonna be moving on. 